Well, howdy ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the jig crib or the catch and cook cabin. Either way, it's our brand new floating tiny home. You guys can help me out with the name. Get you a big old electric filet knife. Oh my goodness. They're making pizza. They're freaking, they're making pizzas. Okay, all right, we're getting this. Can't have a catch and cook cabin without the old fryer on the go. You look crazy different, right? Yeah, that's right. She is a, a big girl, like a like a really big girl. It's an entire, some would say houseboat, but it's kind of like a smaller house. So for the title and thumbnail and potential views, we're gonna say a floating tiny home. And today we're gonna go over everything, put it on the water, and then go to Bass Pro Shop and get this thing completely prepped out for our first adventure, which is gonna be, of course, a 24 hour challenge. You know, I know a lot of you guys have a bunch of questions and I probably do not have the answers. I literally just bought this thing about 30 minutes ago. I just pulled it up to the house and uh, now we're gonna go over it. <laughs> I don't know how long it is. I don't know how much it weighs. <laughs> I really don't know anything about this other than it's gonna be freaking awesome for videos. And the fact that we can do catch and cooks on a whole new level with this thing is gonna be incredible. Here's a few things that we do know about this thing is that my neighbor actually built this entire boat by hand. And I first saw it like two years ago when I bought my house. I was fishing, I was talking to him about his boat. I thought it was really cool. It's before we ever did all this Facebook marketplace crazy stuff. He was like, hey, I don't have it listed, but it's actually for sale if anyone is interested. I was like, well, uh, I'll take some pictures of it, send it to some of my friends. But as the years went on, I continued to see this thing. I saw so many cool opportunities. So I hit him up the other day, just randomly out of the blue. And I said, hey man, is the houseboat still for sale? Sure enough, it was. And we pulled the trigger on it. He actually showed me a ton of old pictures and videos of him building this thing from scratch. It was an old pontoon boat. He stripped it all the way down. He did a brand new floor in it. He put the sides up. He really took his time in building this. He was super, super passionate about this houseboat. Not only that, but he did some really cool trips in it as well. And he gave me all of the information I needed to know to be able to stay on this boat weeks at a time, comfortably, which is like a huge deal. Uh, fun fact number two, it makes my big truck look absolutely tiny. So it's like borderline not a tiny home anymore. Just gonna throw that out there. And fun fact number three, my favorite fact, is we have the nautical bros to see my brand new floating tiny home. <laughs> it's fully furnished by the way. I cannot wait for you to see it. I'm ready to see it. This this is gonna be one of the coolest boats that you got in the fleet. Yeah, we've got a we've got I think we've touched like every category of <laughs> vessels at this point. Not right? everybody has a friend that calls you and goes, Hey, I got a submarine. Hey, I got I got an F1 boat. Hey, do you think I should buy this floating house? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, you know what's idea. even better? After I say that, I call them again. I'm like, hey, so I need you guys to work on this house boat. Hey, I need you to work on this submarine. So instead of uh, boat renovations, you now have to specialize in house renovations. Hey, we're a master of all trades. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> Let's show you guys the inside. Let's, Let's, see see what, Let's see what we got. All right, monumental moment here. Welcome to the jig crib. Woo! So we've got one, two, three, four seats. We've got a TV sound system. We've got our freezer, and that could be used as a refrigerator, a sink, or captain's chair. Could, could use a little work and it is ice cold in here because we got the AC on. I cannot wait to do all the adventures on here, but let's go ahead and bring the Nautical Bros in and get their genuine reaction. This is gonna be freaking cool. This is, this is awesome. I mean, honestly, what gets me right off the bat your captain's chair, bro. Uh, yeah, we're we're gonna upgrade the captain's chair, I think. But uh, what school did you steal that out of? Yeah. So okay, I literally okay. So here's here's the funny thing is I like I said earlier, I literally bought this 30 minutes ago. So there's a lot I got to show you guys. A lot of features, and it's like literally ready to go. And uh, we're gonna adventure tomorrow. So we gotta like set this thing up, get ready to go out. I gotta figure out what all these freaking buttons do. So that's why the nautical bros are here. There you go. How you, how you feel about the bed, Corey? Bro, I'm I'm here for good. Okay, if the boat sinks, there's conveniently a life raft right here for you. <laughs> right. Um, but no, this guy literally left everything. So 
Um, I, I mean, all the way down to the cooking stuff, right? So check this out. We've got a microwave here. We've got an oven. So you could, you could legit bake cookies inside the floating tiny home. And you don't even need anything extra to bake cookies because he, he left like the mittens. Like he, he left everything back here for us. I'll, you, I'll take some white macadamia nuts if you don't mind. Chocolate chip, please. Well, okay. <laughs> it, ain't no nuts getting served on this vessel, okay? Not with three dudes in the cabin. Ain't no, ain't no nuts getting served in here. So the TV actually moves and it swivels. So you can lay down right there and just watch TV. If the TV doesn't float your boat, or in this case, float your house, there's something you can do to entertain yourself, which is the sponsor of today's video. War Thunder. War Thunder is a free multiplayer game about confrontations between the range of military ground vehicles, aircraft, and Navy vessels. I've been playing this game for a while, but they just launched some new updates that you've never played before. Now it's time to download it. The new Sky Guardians update recently came out and it's adding the Yak 141 vertical takeoff fighter, the Panzer 1S Spog, the legendary Little Bird helicopter, and for the first time in War Thunder, warships of the French fleet. Pyrenees was just introduced to the game, which is an incredible new location for aircraft fights. With the upgraded visual effects in the game, the aircraft's immersed warship battles look even more realistic. Various parts even fly off the tank when it explodes, and if ammunition detonates, only the turret and crater remains. Naval vessels are also spectacularly torn into pieces when destroyed. Aircraft can be literally riddled with bullets in real time. So you guys can click the link in the description, download War Thunder free today. It's available on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Mac, and we can even play it inside of the houseboat. All new players and those who haven't entered War Thunder for six months or more will receive a week of renting legendary German ground vehicles, three premium vehicles as a gift forever, XP boosters, a week of premium account, and other bonuses. The season of German gifts is ending soon, so make sure you click the link in the description box now. Thanks again to War Thunder for sponsoring the channel. Now back to the video. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We got an entire bathroom with like a legit toilet. Like the whole thing is set up. We've got gray and black water systems on the vessel and we even have onboard fresh water. The boat is so dialed to live in. You can just plug everything on right now and use it as an RV. It doesn't even gotta be in the water to use everything that's on board here. This area right here is the outdoor shower and this thing is that, oh my God, there's bugs in it. Okay, well, once we get all the bugs out, that is our instant hot water heater. So. No more freezing cold waters, no more freezing cold showers. We can actually use this and get nice hot showers. And the best part is you can even use the water on the lake or you have over 25 gallons of fresh water that's refillable via rain with a catching system to take nice purified showers. It's super sick. But when we're in the springs, which is like where this thing's gonna be most of the time, just use the spring water, it's just as clean. We've got the bathroom, we've got the shower, and we've got our rainwater catching system with all of our water underneath where we're standing right here. Now I know you guys are probably wondering, how's the AC work, how's all the electrical work? And it plugs up right here. Now I have a generator that came with the boat. It's a brand new Honda 3500. It sits right here, the exhaust goes out of the portholes and it plugs in to this, which runs the entire vessel with no problem. So everything is gonna work on the generator but we can actually keep the generator off and just use the house batteries on the boat as well. We're gonna install solar and Starlink on this boat. Even though we do have this big old antenna, which we just flip up, we'll get all the TV shows, but we want that nice fast internet so I can edit on this boat and get it out to you guys. I could literally stay on this boat for weeks at a time and still get you content. The only thing left for us to do is take this big girl and dump her in the water. It's apparently trailering this thing. It's not gonna be easy. Plus, we gotta do our first lap in her. I can keep the generator on while I tow it, which keeps the AC on. So it's gonna be nice and cold when we're ready to test her on the water. Isn't that crazy? And by the way, I locked the front door of my boat. <laughs> that is like the weirdest thing ever. Look at it. Oh my God, Grush, it's so heavy. I never thought I would be hitting a tree with my house, but here we are. How did I manage to whip this in here? Home sweet home, baby. Never thought I'd have to unlock my <laughs> houseboat. It's hilarious. Oh man. 
Nice and cool inside. Perfect, 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 perfect. Wow, dude. How sketch is this? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go for it here. The motor is on. I couldn't hear the motor because of the, yeah, okay. All right, well the houseboat is houseboating. Oh my gosh, we are just drifting away so fast. Oh my God, okay. Um, captain's chair. Oh my gosh, bro, this is like slightly terrifying. She's ripping though, man. She's like actually moving. I gotta figure out how to make that not cloudy. I gotta be able to see out of that side. I can't see anything. Oh my gosh. How impossible is this? Welcome home. That's how you park a house, brother. Wow. Dude, the generator was on and I could not, I was like, is the, and I was like, oh my God, motor's on. I kept trying to turn it on. The motor's already on. So, I mean, she runs, which is like for us, buying anything that runs, like that's a huge deal. Come on, let's go. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, yeah. he's definitely sliding yeah. into the window. All right, come on, family. Look, there's a freaking kayaker up here. This is my first time driving a house, so we gotta be careful. <laughs> I, uh, you, yeah, go ahead, give her a go, man. Give her a go. I think we're close to a full smart. We've got some blind spots. Sorry, it's my first time driving a house. <laughs> I'm getting, is that two stroke smells I'm getting? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're gonna ne need a O2 sensor in here, 100%. Because I might be catching exhaust and like generator fumes. It, 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 it's both of them back here. You can smell it on both of them. It's the AC pulling it through and filtering it. Just duck. Yeah. The vibes are, are pretty immaculate. I like being on the front porch and, and doing front porch activities and just having the, uh, it's, a, it's a house. I mean, it's just, what do you think, buddy? You like it? <laughs> oh, we're freaking, what are we about to go on plane? What the hell? Oh boy. We almost, we, someone almost hit our house. Uh, <laughs> with, I don't, dude, we're the only thing on the water. I was, I was recording with the drone and I'm, that's a wild move. Dude, this has to be my favorite part. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, you ready for the first flush? Here we go. Oh, that's cool. Where does that go? No one knows. It, it, it actually is like a self-containing system, which kind of sucks. I, I selfishly kind of wish it would just like float away, but it all goes to black and gray water. So black water is gonna be your soiled water. Like this goes into a little tank, which you have to empty. Don't know if the previous owner emptied that or not. Come here. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> so, I gotta say this is probably one of my favorite parts is like having a place to sleep, having it air conditioned and just like, yeah, I could freaking chill out with my dog. Easily sleeps more people, like easily. Under here we've got an entire trolling motor that we gotta put on. Wow, let's try this big girl here. What an engineer this guy was, man. Seriously, look at this. It just plugs right into the wall. Yeah, look at this, we're just whipping. Okay. It's a seesaw kind of hook deal here. All right, so you get that. I'm gonna turn old Bluetooth on. This is the this is what makes the boat extra cool. The yeah. small thoughts like this, you know. Hold, hold. Get on our roller. Here we are, Bass Pro. We are going to deck out our floating tiny home. Big problem is we only got like 30 minutes, and we need fishing gear. We need fillet gear. We need pillows, comfort, spices, oils catching cook materials. I don't, I don't even know what we need. We're gonna go in, get inspired. We're just gonna fill up the carts, make home feel like home again. Item number one is the on-the-go foldable fillet station. If you're gonna have a catch and cook cabin, we gotta be able to clean up the fish. Oh, son. Oh, oh my gosh, son. I can see getting reef attacked right here. We might get two of those. All right, we're getting this. This is not for the house, but this is another secret project we're working on. I don't know. Uh, it's the right color. It's the right color. We'll just say that. Yeah, it's a, it's another project. You guys will learn about it and like, shoot, honestly, 
probably, probably a couple weeks, maybe less. Maybe less, it all depends on them. <laughs> Pressure's on them, as usual. I'm thinking we go ahead and get one of these. This is just as a side mission because it really only takes one fly to get in there at night and just make me like super mad. I got to swat all over the place. Here I just give it the old kapow. You know what I'm saying? They're making pizza. They're freaking, they're making pizzas. Okay, all right, we're getting this. Oh my gosh, dude. I am gonna go broke. You know what's funny about houseboats? You have to buy house appliances for them. <laughs> I mean, this one already has a stove, but you wanna upgrade your stove to a stove and a grill. Yeah. And it's like shiny. This one's shiny, I like it. Okay, we're getting it. Can't have a catch and cook cabin without the old fryer on the go. So right here, we got a three liter fryer. Perfect for those crispy nugs, 60 bucks. All right getting some frying oil. But we're gonna get like four jugs of this stuff. Remember, we're overstocking. It's gonna live on the boat. So whenever we go out, we've got all our catch and cook supplies. We're gonna need a bigger cart. It makes me financially nervous that we've already filled up two entire carts. Never been sponsored, probably never will be, but my favorite of all time, the Uncle Buck seasoning. Both did come with nice little uh, blue mittens, but we are gonna switch them over to, I don't know, these, these look a little bit better. And it's gonna be kind of, girly cooking cookies on the boat and then just grabbing them with blue gloves. It just, I like this one. Yeah, this this is nice. No, I like it. I mean, they're like 150 bucks a piece, but we gotta buy four of them, so I'm literally, oh my God, that's so much. Oh, wow, dude, what is this? <laughs> what kind of fish I got dude, you got a bass and oh, I got a bass. Got a catfish. Oh, dude, this is it, yeah. So it's not yeah. terrible. No, we are totally on concrete floor yeah. right now, but I'll tell you what, man, this largemouth bass is just bringing me all the comfort. How's that? Is that that smell? That catfish smells a little weird, man. Yeah, it does. Not gonna lie to you. All right, we're getting these blankets. I like them, man. I like them. All right, we got 15 minutes. Oh, dude wipes. We need dude wipes. Lots of dude wipes, dude. Flushable wipes. All right, so right here are our blankets. We've got all these are different national parks. We're gonna go Grand Tinton, Grand Canyon, Great Smoky, and Rocky Mountain. I think we're gonna throw back Yellowstone just because the color palette's a little different, but I hate having like different colors, if that makes sense. I like them all to match and just have their own vibe. But the fact that this is like a traveling thing and it's kind of like camping anyway on the water, I love the national park thing. So these are 150 bucks a piece, but they are water resistant and weather resistant. So I don't know, I think it's a good call. <sighs> House boating is expensive. Gosh, dude, they're about to close. That does go super hard. The colors are wild, man. How much are these? Oh my god, we got $90 in fish pillows, man. Gosh, bro. We got too much. We got, what is it? Put, we're done, we're done with the pillows, brother. We're going bankrupt, and they're closing in like literally All three right. minutes. All right. Well, we did some damage. I don't know if you guys can even see me, but we're right under $2,400 in catch and cook activity. But we've got a lot of great stuff here. And to be honest, I've spent more at Bass Pro and gotten less, so I feel absolutely great about everything we got. It's a lot of money, but remember, it's not just for one video. It's for the houseboat moving forward. And like half of that was the sleeping stuff and some of the cooking stuff. So I think we're in a great spot. Oh shit, my air fryer! <laughs> Man. Okay, I was actually thinking about the price a little bit more. We bought a $400 cooler that's not even for this boat, so we got to think about that. So basically $2,000 for the boat, and Travis made a good point. We got like $600 just in blankets. Really dumb, but they're weather resistant, and, and that's gonna be a key over time. Hey, so good morning. Uh, we actually woke up a little bit ago and we went to the store and got some more stuff. So things are getting out of hand, uh, but I wanna show you everything we got. It's a lot of great stuff and it's gonna make our houseboat a true home. Let me show you. We've got all of our storage systems here. We got a ton of storage. We have some secret project stuff. You might be able to guess if you know what that board is. Then this, this is very impressive. This is actually our sleeping system. So we've got all of our pillows here. We've got these really nice uh, quality like mattress toppers. We've got the most expensive blankets in the world. And we got some big old fish. As you guys know, this is kind of our comfort, our lounge stuff here. 
our big pile of catch and cook stuff like all the way up we've got catch and cook gear and then we have our big fillet table i am uh, i am pretty sure that i am missing a few things but we have some great ideas and we have like a lot of building to do and i'm not going to bore you with us putting all this stuff in here it's tedious and we even talked about like i could just make a separate video of putting all this stuff together and put it in there but i'm doing you guys a favor we bought the houseboat we took it out that was enough for a video but we went and bought a bunch of stuff to pimp it out and now we're gonna deck it out so everything's all in one video it's a big one so i hope you guys enjoyed and the houseboat was I mean, we spent some money on the houseboat but let me tell you like we spent some money on gear too so please drop a like so let the time lapse commence and let's turn our floating tiny home into home sweet home here's our bedding it looks like freaking cotton candy Okay, quick update. We've got the good mattresses on the bottom. These were like 100 freaking bucks a piece. They're freaking awesome. This one's been unraveled for a bit. She's she's yeah. she's not, she's a little, this is the cheaper one. So budget, Tempur-Pedic, definitely go high dollar. Look at how perfect that is. We're gonna stretch them out. And then we've got room service. What's up? <laughs> we, we've got uh, expert sort of, whoa, is that the sub? Yeah. Sub expert sort of, the other one is what? Pit, pit crew? Pit crew. And and um, now we're gonna have to uh, ride on his chest like room service or something because he's like proper scrubbing the floors right now. Well, the first thing getting filleted in the catch and cook cabin is our freaking $100 Tempur-Pedic beds, man. I uh, honestly can't believe we're cutting these up right now, but we've got our electric fillet knife. We already measured them on one of the previous slots that does work. Dude, like a charm, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, butter, bro. That is freaking cool. If you ever had to cut Tempur-Pedic, just get you a big old electric fillet knife. Bedding on here, it's been cut down to size now. I mean, we've got like little extra pieces. Don't need them, but top is blue, it's all cut. We've got pillow duty now, so. This is coming along. It's just looking good. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. We went from this big old deep freezer, which gives us a lot of space, but kind of inconvenience. Like we could accidentally freeze our eggs in here. If we weren't paying attention, they'd be kind of screwed. But a while back when all the hurricanes came through, I finally pulled the trigger on one of these. It's a big, uh, refrigerator and freezer so both of them could be a refrigerator both of them could be a freezer one side could be a fridge one side could be a freezer it's all temperature controlled and can be run 100% of the time no problem all can be uh, controlled with an app on my phone as well and uh, has a smart interface too so we're gonna go ahead and install the Dometic instead of the freezer we have way more storage in the freezer but to me I'd rather have my stuff refrigerated and frozen at the same time and don't have to worry about it. You can basically have frozen fish fillets when we're doing catch and cooks for the catch and cook cabin. And we can have nice cold beverages, cold deli meats and stuff like that. We don't have to worry about the fish going bad because it's been in the refrigerator too long. We don't have to worry about the stuff that's supposed to be in the refrigerator being in the freezer too long, if that makes sense. So we're gonna toss this baby in here. She's gonna live in the catch and cook cabin. Well, it couldn't be a true catch and cook cabin without a little Guggen surprise. It's gonna be awesome. You guys won't see until the final reveal. All right, man, you let me know when the houseboat's done, but I'll be right here. So we found out that when we bought this one, we bought it because it has this fancy little, little cooktop up here. But what we didn't know is the one that's inside is like, it does the exact same thing. But this one like looks cooler and it's new, so we'll just use this one. But it is kind of funny. All right. Wow. 
Wow, that fits really good. Oh, dude, that looks sick. Let's turn the brakes on. Oh, dude, that looks so good. <laughs> Reeve, what you got? Well, this is now taking days. <laughs> A lot of time is going into this. We got everybody working. Even Reef. Reef's even getting after it. Well, what was supposed to take a day ended up taking three days, but I'm proud to say we officially have finished the houseboat and I cannot wait to give you guys a tour. So let's go ahead and start here on the front porch. We've got our big comfy chair. We actually got two of these, but you can't have a kitchen cook cabin without a proper filet table. So you guys know this whole boat has water on it. You can connect the water to the fillet table right here, fillet the fish up, get rid of the waste, chuck the carcasses over on the side, and then you gotta deal with the fillets. And that's where inside is a specialty. All right, I'd like to formally introduce you to the jig crib. Woo -hoo -hoo! Man, she looks so much better in here. This place is so freaking cool. So many awesome features. So. First things first, we'll start up here. We got all our organization. We got all our bins up here and it basically made everything nice and organized. We got our frying oil, bathroom. We got Uncle Buck's cookware, ice cream, batter box, cleaning, house items, filet knives. We also have the entertainment center. And uh, yes, that that is Bob Ross. He's a, he's actually painting. It's all I, this is, I can only get a select amount of channels. But we are gonna hook this baby up with Starlink and be able to download footage, download videos, export videos to YouTube. Like this thing could be a YouTube on the water mecha powerhouse. So I'm looking forward to all the things we can do here, but we have power, we have AC, we've got everything. And we also have what every catch and cook cabin should have, a freaking Guggen bait wall. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we got a Guggen bait wall. We did run out of um, hooks, so I ordered more hooks, but everything on the wall right here is brand new from Guggen. We got crappie baits, we've got the rival swim baits, the junior contenders, the flaming hots, we've got the love grubs, the happy trailers, and the dude tubes. All up there, which you guys can use my code Jiggin to save 10% off your entire order, but we have a lot of baits. So we've got everything here. You can go out on the front dock, you can grab your baits, go catch a fish, fillet them up on the fillet table, and then bring them inside because this, ladies and gentlemen, is where the magic happens. Now you guys might remember down here was a giant freezer. Now we switched that out to the Dometic, which this is our freezer and this is our refrigerator. This is like a garage setup here, but it add a nice piece of wood on it. So a good chop block so we can fillet stuff over here. We also have another table coming back over there. Now inside of here is so freaking cool. We've got all of our cooking storage. So we've got our brand new deep fryer right here. We also have our vacuum sealer right here. So we can seal all our meats, we can fry the meats, we've got plates, we've got all our stuff up here and we have a lot of room to continue to stack stuff in. Now, moving on over here, you guys might remember that, well, we already had an oven here, but <laughs> we ended up buying another oven. We didn't think the oven that was in here had a cooktop, but now, they both have cooktops. We also have the microwave there. We also have an absolute ton of propane on board, so we can use big grills, anything like that. But I mean, we can do everything. We can grill asparagus, we can fry an egg, we can make a filet mignon, we can bake cookies. Like, we can do everything on here. We did end up getting rid of the old Live Laugh Love blue ones and we ended up just getting a nice no, a more manly setup. <laughs> now the catch and cook cabin can clearly catch fish and obviously cook them. That's what the whole thing's built for. But when you're in a cabin, you want to be comfortable. So we've got the TV, we've got the AC, we've got the lights. But at night, you got to get a good rest because most likely you're waking up early in the morning to go after it again. So we invested a lot of money in the beds. Honestly, I think there's easily $1,000 to $2,000 in bed stuff, which is absurd. Starting off, we have all four sleeping setups that we did the exact same thing to. So they already had Tempur-Pedic foam, but we went and bought more Tempur-Pedic foam, like big, big mattresses. We laid on all four, so they're extremely comfortable. We put rumple blankets on all four of them. Now, 
These are very expensive, like sleeping camping style blankets, but we did that because they're water and moisture resistant. So if Reef rooms up here, jumps on the bed, it's gonna suck, but at least like you're not gonna have a soaking wet comforter for the night. It's gonna resist, come off, and we can clean them easy. Now, the colors are a little wild, but each of them actually represent a national park. So this one's Rocky Mountain National Park. I believe we have the Grand Canyon, we have the Smoky Mountains, and uh, something else. I don't know, there's four, but each of them represents something different, which is kind of cool. We also have O2 sensors that are gonna go right in the head of all of the beds. Um, just because we do have exhaust from the motor. It's a two-stroke. She's a smoky girl We also got the generator So we're trying to make sure we can go to sleep in the cabin at night and wake up in the morning You don't want to sleep in an O2 environment because I mean you just well you'll be sleeping forever Moving on down we added stuff like the catfish the bass the brim But we have a bunch of beds here. They're all the exact same So wherever you sleep at night, you're gonna get some good rest we also have a jig and fish. Now, this was made for me by one of you guys, oh my gosh, in like 2018 or 19. So, I've had it for a while. We wanted to throw some art up in the jig crib, so we decided to throw up a good old jig and fish. If any of you guys are really talented, have the ability to make some art, let me know. I might open up a P.O. box or something because I would love to just start stacking stuff up in the jig crib. I think it's such a cool place to make content, but also to like have you guys be a part of it in a way. You know, I live out on the lake and when we were working on this thing late last night with all the lights on, the bugs got intense. So I figured you need to defend yourself. You definitely don't want bugs in your cabin. So right under the bed is the salt gun, which is going to be our deterrent for all of our bugs. And we did do a little bit of testing research. You can actually lay down on the bottom bunk and get mosquitoes and stuff on the ceiling. So. Yeah, man, watch out, don't be a bug near the house. Genuine moment here. We still have so much left to do the houseboat, but to have it at this state right now is so cool. And just wanna thank you guys. Every time I get to do something, I never even like, it wasn't even a childhood dream because I like, didn't think it was possible, but having something like this is so freaking cool. It's like my new command station on the water. It's like my new headquarters. Everything that I can do at my house I can do on this boat, which is so freaking cool. So I cannot wait to like have some of my friends come down or heck, maybe even some of you guys. And this is just like a massive party barge, a massive hangout spot. I mean, even a hotel in a sense, like we could Airbnb this thing out. So if you guys ever want a chance to say, let me know in the comment section below, maybe we can do a floating houseboat Airbnb. Something like that would be so freaking cool. And uh, I don't know, there's just endless possibilities here, man. You got your fishing setups, you've got your comfortable beds. My dog is gonna be on here. I mean, we've got our cooking stuff. We even got a bathroom, like that is a luxury, man. You don't know how many times I've been on my boat. As a fisherman, you guys know, you freaking stomach is the rumbling, you gotta run to shore, like in the trees. Like, now we got a nice bathroom. Like This really has turned into a luxurious spot and I am so, so excited for all the adventures to come, man. This is like, in a few days, we've been able to transform this into something so incredible. So you might see that the floor has been unchanged. The bathroom, back deck, and shower have been unchanged. Even the outside of the houseboat hasn't changed yet. We have a whole bunch of big plans, big ideas, and amazing adventures ahead, but we wanted to get it catch and cook ready. And that's because starting right now for the next 24 hours, we're gonna be on this houseboat catching, cooking, filleting up some fish, and putting it to the ultimate test. Hope you guys enjoy the houseboat. I love it so much. I think it's gonna be a great asset to our adventures moving forward. And of course, we will see you guys on the next adventure, which is gonna be right here on this very boat. Our floating tiny home, the jig crib, the catch and cook cabin. You gotta give me some names. I love you, see ya. Mwah.